Chicago police under fire again for another apparent wrong house raid. A new civil lawsuit claims officers pointed guns at children as young as four while looking for a suspect. WGN's Rob Sneed is live on the city's west side with more. Rob. Yeah, you mentioned those four-year-old, that four-year-old, but also a four-year-old and a nine-year-old. The family says that this whole ordeal is traumatizing for those two little girls. They said that uh, their lives would never be the same. August 7th, 2019, a family's life changed forever. The long and the short is that the officers were completely wrong. Um, none of the body cam footage shows uh, that the any anyone, uh, let alone anyone who matched the description given by the caller, uh, was inside um, the family's apartment. The family's lawyer, Al Holfield, claims police entered the home on a mistaken warrantless entry with guns drawn inside their home on Lawler near Division. And causing lasting psychological trauma to both girls in the form of nightmares, ongoing bedwetting, trouble sleeping, decreased appetite, crying fits, and fear and distrust of police. The lawyer claims in the body cam footage, officers are seen entering the apartment without the family's consent, a search warrant, and without knocking or announcing to open the door. The family, three adults and two children, said the officer kicked open the front door of the apartment with guns pointed at their heads. The family claims a Chicago police officer pointed his flashlight and a pistol directly at a four-year-old and nine-year-old's heads from two feet away as they were in their beds. This, even after a fellow police officer said that there were kids inside of the bedroom, according to the attorney. The lawyer also claims the nine-year-old was so scared she froze and urinated in her bed, all while the four-year-old just cried. Those facts, combined with the fact that we're missing body-worn camera footage, we've gotten some through FOIA requests, but the city has not turned over all the body cam footage from this incident. And there's a false police report that was... I also reached out to Mary Lori Lightfoot's office for comment, and I have not heard back from anyone. I also reached out to CPD, and they told me that they will not comment on any litigation. Reporting live on the city's west side, Rob Sneed, WGN News.